Anyway, I do want to carry you around and taste those lips of yours. That will be a good workout for me as well. What the f***? Hello global citizens, I'm Kelsey. I'm Korean living in Korea and recently in a Korean coffee meets bagel app, it's like our hinge tender dating app, I matched with this white guy named Sean which triggered this whole topic. So thank you Sean for being such a creep. So me being fluent in both English and Korean, I do have a larger dating pool options. So I matched with Sean and I said, nice real same profile, better influencer than me because I opened up that I'm a YouTuber. He's like, thanks. Anyway, I do want to carry you around and taste those lips of yours. That will be a good workout for me as well. What the fuck? <laughs> so I was like, um, I guess you're looking for a hookup then. Because then if our needs don't align, we can part ways and not waste anyone's time. Probably not. I prefer a long-term relationship with lots of good sex. That's better. Okay, you want to date me uh, for a potential relationship. Then I have to tell him that I don't like what he's saying. If we're potentially going to date. Because when I date someone, when anyone dates someone, your values have to match. So I tell him, okay, it's a little creepy when you talk like this. Like after five minutes of matching, he's just like, I want to carry you around and taste those lips of yours. And it'll be a good workout for me as well. <laughs> I think he's just like trying to flex that he's like strong. <laughs> cringe. Ah! I posted this on my Instagram story because it was so cringe. Hey, one of my girlfriends asked, what the fuck? Why does he think that this would work? And here is my explanation. Because he's typically hot and tall, I think his ego is out of touch. 186 centimeters and he was a fellow Australian. You know, I lived in Australia. So I was like, oh my God, fellow Aussie. I had high hopes going in this. And then he has this kind of picture like, I have goofy hair you know i'm still hot and funny and he is typically handsome proportionate face you would say he's typically hot and tall his ego is out of touch he worked in asia singapore before korea for years so it probably works on asian women more than you think which is white fetish in my opinion so i think i gave him a reality check and he ran away and then my girlfriend was like yeah this is why you need to be careful of white guys in asia to be honest like what did he expect when he said i want to carry you around and then i sent her this meme because i think this is what sean's idea of a relationship is he's He's like this white dominant man just grabbing Asian woman by the neck. <laughs> and then girls love it because, oh my god, he's so dominant. So cringe. Like, don't get me wrong, I like having kinky sex, I like having dominant, submissive, like, whatever. Is that TMI? I don't care. But it's when you fucking have a rapport with each other, not when you fucking matched two seconds ago. That's why I asked, okay, are you looking for a hookup? And then he's like, no. Okay, then if you, this is your value of dating a woman, my friend is like, lol, he probably did think like that. He imagines himself as Mr. Gray. But, okay, but here's the counter argument. Cultural analysis, try to be impartial. But literally some pick me girls like it. So can they please accept the app together? Because me living in Korea, like I see a lot of behavior from Asian girls girls also who literally white fetish there's no other way to explain it so sean with a white fetish girl like perfect match match made in heaven let me just show you the bumble first i'm like hi sean from melbourne i lived in sydney when i was little what's an aussie doing in korea i want to know what you're doing because i want to get to know you <laughs> and then sean is like hi kelsey nice to meet you i relocated to korea for blah, 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 blah. and i was like oh how is adjusting going for you trying to find some common ground suddenly asked me oh are you 171 centimeters height that's pretty tall over here and i'm like yeah and he's like but i can carry you around easily you look petite to me what the fuck what are you trying to get like 171 centimeters is very tall in korea but even in australia i was the taller side of like girls so i don't know why you're trying to flex like that he's like i'm different from the other guys i can carry you around easily unlike the asian guys i don't know what you're implying here you look petite to me okay first of all i am not petite i just am not what the fuck I'm literally wearing pajamas. Oops, reveal. That word gives me cringe. I thought it was a fucking joke because we matched and like we had like five conversations each, five text messages each. And then he's just like mentioning my height and then going like, I can carry you around easily. So I'm like, there's no way. <laughs> it's just a joke, it fucking must be. Okay, he's talking about carrying me around. So maybe he enjoys carrying people around as a workout. I don't know. You enjoy carrying people around. Bag emoji, like a bag. <laughs> then we moved over to Kakao Talk, which is like our WhatsApp. I don't like the Coffee Meets Beagle app. Now we had five text messages each on this text message. She's like, hi, Kelsey. Hi, Sean. Nice reels in profile. Better influencer than me. <laughs> still, Kelsey's still trying to save the situation, trying to bring out some personality in the guy, which I found later on that he does not 
have. He's like, thanks. And then he says, again. So this was the second time. Again, anyway, I do want to carry you around and taste those lips of yours. That will be a good workout for me as well. Like the amount of cringe. Okay, let's go. They take a look at Sean's profile once again. He is 30. I am 24, six years older. I'll first profile, second profile, third Fourth, oh, I work in climate action. I mean, so woke. Then I match and <gasps> I got a fucking yellow fetish, dude. Now, after seeing that screenshot of me and him, another American white guy friend texts me, there are a lot of whack white dudes in Asia that give the entire Western hemisphere a bad name. Greatly said, dude. But there are also a lot of Asian girls that fetishize white men. So I personally know many Korean girls who have fantasy dating a white guy. Yeah, this is like, I'm not friends with them because I don't know, they just think differently than me and I, I don't understand how they think. When I hang out with them, they know that I speak English, right? And then when we're at a bar and there's like a group of white dudes, they want me to go over and like talk to them so that they can get introduced to them or something. I don't know if they want to, if she want to date him, just have a one I stand, I don't even know. And I'm like, girl, he doesn't speak Korean and you don't speak English, so how are you just gonna make anything happen, you know? But a lot of Asian girls think that like white guys are so handsome and so tall. I mean, like that's true. They are taller, that's like an objective fact. But I have said in my past videos that western guys typically are taller and have bigger dicks generally than koreans it's just data don't come for me but it's just cringe because i know a lot of guy friends that are white in korea they go on a date with a korean girl and they realize that she actually speaks zero english so on the app she has just been google translating the whole time and when they meet she actually doesn't speak any english so it goes like this oh, oh hi nice to meet you ah uh, oh, mm, I don't uh, speak actually. This is, this is even too good English. How do you not? Okay, I know English. Oh, what? You don't speak English, but like we, I thought you did. Ah, uh, <laughs> what? Cringe, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so many cases when this happens, and then the my poor guy friends are just like, um, yeah, I guess we we will go eat like we said on the app. You know what's even more cringe? Okay, so they go for food, and then it's fucking awkward for the guy because there's no conversation. If the guy is a walking red flag, you know, and then he's not my friend, then he would like the situation because the girl is just obviously into him for being white, and then he could fuck her, right? If you are a normal human being with some fucking integrity, that's fucking cringe. So they eat, and then they come out, and then the guy's like. Like, now he wants to board. Now my guy friend is like, oh, it was so nice to meet you, but um, I think I'll have to go because he's not enjoying the date. There's no conversation. And then the girl is like, no, don't go. And then literally puts her arm through his arm and then she wants to walk around with him because that makes her look good or something. I don't even know. And imagine how uncomfortable you would be as a guy. If you're the kind of guy that's watching this and like, oh, I sort of like it. It means you're an incel. Like, grow the fuck up. Like, that girl behaving like that, she knows nothing about him. Like, his background, his personality, like, what his values are. And she's already like, white fetish, white worship. Though so my Swedish guy friend says, this is hella tree. Korea is the only country in the world that I've been to where girls that don't speak English made their guy friends try to pick me up for them. Uh, what do those girls expect? And the guy says, I don't even know. Even if it's just sex, how do they expect it to even get to that point? Like we can't even exchange names properly. But I think they expect you to take control and lead to smooth sex. And a guy who acts like that in that situation is a walking red flag. So I don't know why girls would want that. Humanity is absurd. I think that's like the whole vibe of today's video because there are so many guys that act like that in Korea, white guys. And there are so many Asian girls that act like that in Korea. I'm not being sexist. I'm roasting just all humanity that's like cringe. And I was like, maybe our expectation of an authentic love dynamic is too advanced or the, for the majority of people. I don't even know. Because whenever I see those people, the white guys that actually enjoy those kinds of girls, girls and then the girls that actually enjoy acting that way i'm like okay maybe it's just like an alternate universe but my question is why you know korea is so advanced why what are you expecting from those white guys it just comes from ignorance like so many asian girls still think that oh my god guys from america guys from canada it means he's rich or i don't i actually do not know why they think like please tell me if you're that kind of girl <laughs> they won't because you don't speak English. I might be wrong, but considering that, first of all, those Korean girls can't communicate, so a fulfilling companionship doesn't really seem possible. But two, she's already clinging onto his arm after the first date. So I'm assuming she has some ulterior motive than love. And this is also why my guy friends get uncomfortable from those dates because they think like, okay, does she want a white trophy boyfriend or money or a green card? Why is she wanting to be in a relationship with me after the first date? But I want to say at this point, you're earning power as an Asian female in Seoul 
is higher than a white guy from let's say Mississippi or Utah like no offense I'm just pointing out that for me and my white guy friends is cringe to see soul women still acting this way and also in major cities in Japan too and often those women they don't even ask where the guy is from there was no conversation as I said but then maybe it's not about the money then maybe it's actually about having a white trophy boyfriend <laughs> in relation to this I personally don't have an opinion yet about Southeast Asian women having a white fetish because I simply don't have enough context about their lives in Southeast Asia and the social opportunities and just life as a woman in those countries however However, in major East Asian cities, my opinion is that thankfully our society is at, our, at a place where a young woman can choose their boyfriend out of love. Because I think the fact that they don't speak English so unaware, it's just like they get fed into this Western media and also Korean media where white guys are always like better. Uh, it's hard to explain. Like if those girls were interested in dating another race because it's like different. For I personally support that view because I'm also like that's something new, something different. It excites me, it gives me dopamine. So if they're thinking like, oh, he's not Korean. So maybe like something is different. I support that. But do you have the basic minimal needs to figure that out do you have the language skills no well, then are you like even willing to learn the language beforehand like no <laughs> my guy friend says it's so absurd to imagine like am i supposed to draw a house on a napkin on arrow and then two suck stick men kissing do they want me to just pick them up over my shoulder and carry them home like some barbaric invader yes I think the answer is yes. So for the white fetish Korean girls, they're like, ah, you know, they just poke at the guy. They want the guy to be like, oh, hot and handsome because he's white. Draw a. <laughs> Let's fucking go. And then the girl is like. <laughs> Actually, this is not accurate because the girl with the one wearing a skirt is taller than the guy. That's not what they want. They want to pick me up and carry me around. Is this why men like that guy Sean thrive in countries like Asia? Literally, yes. Why the fuck would I even want that? Like, seriously. <laughs> Does he thrive though? Is getting laid to those type of girls thriving? Low bar. Like, this is my what I think legitimately. Because I really value genuine human connection. And whenever I date someone, I want it to be like a soul bonding experience. I objectively think that that is superior than those kinds of dating. And for the Korean girls, I'm like, you can have that relationship with a guy that speaks your own language. You know, for the Asian girls, you know, with the guy that speaks your hometown language, Chinese, Japanese, whatever. Why are you doing that cringe shit with some dude just because he's white? This is not me feeling superior just because I speak two languages. Like, first of all, there's so many people that speak like four or five languages. This is like, I feel, I do not feel superior about this. But at least put in the effort to like learn English or something. Like, you don't want to put in that effort and you're just using Google Translate. And then when you meet, there's no conversation and then already you're clinging to him. I really don't understand that. It's so pathetic. And then my Swedish guy is like, oh yeah, Sean is telling himself that he's thriving, but 31 is getting really close to 40. Being 40 and behaving like that is just sad. Yeah, I know white guys in Asia that are 40 and still behave like that. A literal man child thinking he's doing good because he's still stuck in his middle school mindset. No problem. Guy like that will just buy a 20 year old wife from Southeast Asia when he's 40 and then get sad because nobody understands him and the world just criticizes him for being a man. That's so true, it's beyond depressing. Another anecdote from a white guy friend of mine in Korea. He was invited to a party once and in that bar he saw so many Korean girls acting like pick me to the white dudes, like white dudes only. And then the bar is like full of white dudes that were just like trying to pick up Asian girls that don't speak English. And then his anecdote is that you have all of Seoul and all that it has to offer and you want to go to a sports bar and listen to T-Pain and be surrounded by American guys who couldn't cut it back home. There are literally so many cool places to hang out in Seoul. And I was like, bro, T-Pain and mid-American guys? I'm sorry, it's not a good combo. I'm not trying to be locust. Everyone should be treated the same as a human. You know, when dating, you can have preferences. But if you're like mid, as the kids say, you know what, mid, and you hang around in those T-Pain bars, 
with like white fetish Asian girls? Or can they please exit together? Guys like Sean, you know, it was like a brutal reminder that, oh my God, I forgot that this whole thing existed, like this dynamic, because I have been to those bars, you know, in freshman, second year, and I forgot about that whole dynamic. I always found it very cringe. And especially because I teach English in Korea, a lot of my students that are women, they also have this fantasy. I support them because they're learning. And the more that they learn, actually, the more they understand the language, they realize that like all humans are the same, all guys are the same, all, all girls are the same. So I support that. But a lot of them start off with having that fantasy. It's like someone for everyone, you know? I really hate any transactional kind of love dynamic like I love you in exchange of a green card and that's like the vibe whenever I see those couples have some integrity and make your own life path you know that's what I want to say to those like pick me girls thankfully I believe that most first world countries are advanced enough of course i'm speaking in my perspective from my life experience but i think that korea at least we're advanced enough to have a common ground for women to advance in their life you know there is still so much systemic sex systemic sexism in korea obviously and i'm very frustrated by that but how does that become you throwing away your integrity as a person trying to look cute for this mid american guy in a t-pain bar <laughs> no hate to t-pain i love t-pain my favorite song of t-pain was when he collabed with Taylor Swift. What? What? I need sweaters, yo! After I told Sean, it's a little creepy when you talk like this. Are you born in 92? Yeah, does age matter to you? I was just trying to figure out if age is why you flirt weird. Do girls actually like it? <laughs> I was really curious. At this point, I'm just like, I want to know what kind of life you're living in, what kind of vibration you're living in. He reads this message straight away. Like until now, he reads my message pretty quickly and messages straight away. He reads it straight away, but then he it took him five minutes to answer. <laughs> So I guess he was thinking like, why doesn't she like the, uh? Let's say I was a cringe white worship Asian girl and I just match with him and I just see that he looks cute and that he's white and he says that he wants to carry me around because I'm petite. What would I say if I'm a white fetish girl? I don't even know! I would say, Kelsey, you have to go into the soul. Like, do they want to marry him? Okay, let's say I want to marry him. Then I would just have to please him and go into the fantasy of him. Wow, that's so cool. You're so tall. Yeah, I think that's what I would say. So Sean, for five minutes, was like, wait, why isn't she saying that I'm so cool for being tall? And why isn't she just coming over to my house right now? And I can treat her like a... No, I don't know if he's referencing that he wants to have sex with me. He just literally says like, I want to carry you around. Like... <laughs> Sean manages to say after five minutes, too straightforward, and I tell him. And it's been like a week, and he still has read the message. So he read it, but then he didn't enter the chat room because he's fucking cringe and a pussy. At least own up to it. Me asking this question, it probably felt like an attack to him because this tactic only works. The girls that don't ask these type of questions, those girls have no preference. They just go along with the guy. Sean is just like shook it. No. It's not about straightforward. It's like too fast. We barely talked and you talk like you're my boyfriend or something. I like straightforward. I'm being straightforward right now. And this little pussy leaves it unread. <laughs> That's so pathetic. Yeah, I would have really loved to hear an answer from Sean. Hear his counter argument. Yeah, you can for sure know that after I sent that message, Sean read it right away appearing on top and he's like, <laughs> he thought about it for 5, 10, 20 minutes and then he was like, he didn't have an answer other than to admit that he's a creep. It bugs me so much because I know guys like Sean, he's from Australia, okay? He will not be able to say that to another Australian girl because it's fucking, fucking weird. But the fact that in Asia, in Singapore, in Korea, you know, he can just freely say that. You see no hesitation. Five minutes of matching. Twice he says those things. It just shows how much the Asian girls actually allow guys like him to say that just because he's white, tall, and typically good looking. Where is your integrity? Okay, if you just want to fuck him, yeah, I guess you can just fuck him. But a guy that says that he, he wants a relationship and that talk to you in that way? You know nothing about me. Why do you want to carry me around? I've given you no charm. You only know that I have a pussy and that I'm Asian and you want to carry me around. Final message I want to say to those white worship Asian girls and yellow fever white guys. You might not be this level of cringe, but maybe you were on the path of going there. But it might be just because you are ignorant. Like the student. Students, Korean students that learn English from me, they do not know, they're ignorant. So I'll give you crash course about Asian culture, Western culture, whatever fantasy you have about like Asian girls, okay? Sean, if you think that Asian girls are like more docile, submissive, catering to your needs, petite, <laughs> The fact that he called me petite, objectively tall girl, petite. So if you think that Asian girls think of you as superior, yes, 
a lot of them do but don't go for those girls because it's fucking cringe i know it's easy but is that what you want in life you know i just want everyone to have a happy fulfilling genuine relationship in life are you happy just getting pussy like that banging 20 girls from every asian country is that what you want is that what makes you feel cool and like oh, oh, oh. and then maybe like your guy friends do, does your guy friends think that's cool most people would look down on you you're not cool you're literally getting some pathetic plus points from all the imperialism brainwashing from western media from western history now you're the mid incel and <laughs> you're using that imperialistic mindset to get a little bit more plus points with these asian girls bro come on if you're an asian girl that has a white fever why literally why for me i had a swedish boyfriend for three years he's very white he's swedish but i chose him not because of his skin color <laughs> do i even have to say this i chose him because we can converse in english and i found that his culture is fascinating it's very different from korean culture very fascinating it gives me dopamine to learn about the culture and the language i'm actually taking swedish language courses from a private tutor although i broke up with him it depends which country i am in the race of the guy differs on the app but i swipe right if has an interesting job or has interesting in bio his looks are to my taste and i feel like we have something in common and that we can talk and that he's an intelligent person that's all i look for not the skin tone okay and you should be the same girls stop being so ignorant and actually learn about the country i think america is so great learn about it not so great you know every country is similar humanity is similar we're like literally so flawed have some consciousness have some integrity if you are a girl that doesn't have white fetish but instead you're a white girl having a yellow fever i suggest that you go watch this video and educate yourself to see if you actually want to date a korean guy for genuine reasons or it's just because you have a huge yellow fever fantasy on a guy don't be fucking cringe and i'll see you guys next time bye